A new parenting alert, raising concerns about how what your children watch affects the way they think and feel about gender. And, and Mara is here with the details. And you spent some time with some families, Mara? I did, yeah. A group of parents and kids who spoke really candidly about the gender stereotypes they're seeing. This new survey finds parents say those images shape what their kids think it means to be a boy or a girl. Everything from how they look and talk, even to the kinds of jobs they aspire to. Message. From their favorite TV shows, The Queen, <laughs> to big screen blockbusters. TV shows and movies are a big part of our kids' lives. But just how is all of this screen time affecting how boys and girls see themselves? This morning, an eye opening news survey shedding light on how stereotypes in movies and on TV impact the way kids think about gender, sexuality, and diversity. Parents feel that TV and movies are incredibly influential on their kids' perceptions. The survey finding parents say movies and TV heavily influence their children. More than half of respondents saying they are especially concerned about their children seeing sexualization of girls and women, violence against girls or women, and boys or men shown as hyperviolent or aggressive. Do you see stereotypes being reinforced? Absolutely. We sat down with a group of parents who we'll share see. many of these concerns. There's still the label that if a girl plays sports, she's kind of a tomboy instead of just a girl who plays sports. My son, his favorite colors are pink and purple. He's got a purple <laughs> scooter. Right. So I want him to be seeing these same lines become more blurry that used to be so Segmented. 75% of respondents saying media images impact the way girls think they should look. They have to wear this much makeup or they have to be this body shape or this body type, and that scares me. The kids we spoke to also have strong feelings about what they're seeing and their own gender rules. But I just don't like how they portray the girls because, like, they're wearing, like, belly shirts and, like, really short shirt shorts. They don't have to follow the boys' lead. They're not boys. They can do whatever they want to do. So you want to see girls be stronger? Yeah. Does anyone ever give you a hard time when you say pink is your favorite color? Yes. And what do you say back? I say all colors are the same. There's no such thing as boy colors and girl colors. Another major finding of the study, the lack of diversity on screens. More than half of parents saying there is a lack of non-white role models for both boys and girls, something this group agrees what with. You? What do you like to watch? I'm Doc McStuffins because it's just a brown girl like me on a show. Why do you like seeing girls like you on TV? Because it makes me feel like there are people like me that I can look up to. A parent's first job is to educate your kids and to share your own values. Show them the behavior, show them the self-image that you want them to have. Now, the group behind the report says they not only want to give parents tools to talk to their kids, but they also want to use it to engage content creators. Something really interesting that came out of this, the top qualities that parents say they want in role models for their kids, kind, intelligent, and confident. Yeah. And that's whether you're a boy or a girl. That's what's yeah. really important to parents. Where do you find these kids? They're amazing. Weren't I mean, they the best? Yeah. So sweet. So and I love what that little girl Camilla said about wanting to see herself reflected.